It's Red Ribbon Week, and as we spread awareness to stop substance abuse, alumni are sitting down to share their story. And we have a new justice on the United States Supreme Court. Those stories plus record tropical storms this year, coming up on NHS TV Live. The nomination of Amy Coney Barrett of Indiana to be an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court of the United States is confirmed. Breaking news overnight, Amy Coney Barrett has been confirmed by the Senate. With just seven days to the presidential election, the Senate voted to confirm President Trump's Supreme Court nominee. Barrett was sworn in yesterday as the new Supreme Court Justice at a White House ceremony. She will now fill the vacant seat of the late Ruth Bader Ginsburg, who died just this last month. This confirmation now marks Amy Coney Barrett as the third of tenure in office. Hurricane Zeta is expected to make landfall as a Category 1 hurricane. It is predicted to take a similar path of Hurricane Delta, striking near Cozumel and then heading towards the northern Gulf Coast, and hit Louisiana by Wednesday. Zeta is the 27th named system in 2020 season, putting 2020 on track to either tie or break the all-time record for the number of named storms in one season. As 2020 is constantly surprising us, so are the choices for job opportunities. If you are in need of a job, want an extra, want an extra responsibility, or just need money to simply pay for daily necessities, NHS TV reporter Ventura Colwell has all the jobs for hire. With holidays coming up, stores are hiring seasonal employees to serve the growing number of customers they will see in the next few months. Here are some jobs around us that are hiring. In Hazlitt, Walmart, Whataburger, and Taco Bell. In North Lake, Texas Roadhouse, Wingstop, Lululemons, Bath & Body Works, and Old Navy. In Alliance, Chick-fil-A, Starbucks, Freebirds, and James Avery. Remember those murder hornets? Yeah, me too. This is so 2020 because the first nest has been found in the U.S. Scientists with the Washington State Department of Agriculture use tiny trackers and traps to locate the nest. The nest and its residents were captured then placed in vacuum sealed canisters. Giant Asian hornets are the largest insects of their kind and they're known to deliver a potent venom when they sting. Humans aren't their typical targets as the murder hornets are killing entire beehives, which have an important role in pollinating crops for our food supply. Because in theory, we don't have a massive population of Asian giant hornets out there, uh, but the very few that we have that showed up last year managed to attack and kill, you know, six or seven hives. And so to me, if we end up getting a lot of Asian giant hornets, it could get pretty serious. Um, that's not to take care of them now. And the location of that nest? It's on a piece of private property under construction for residential homes. Welcome to the neighborhood. Moving on, as this week is dedicated to bringing awareness to drug and substance abuse, our team of reporters had the chance to sit down with another alumni who is telling their story. Um, I, um, I had a problem with uh, stimulants and then um, I had an opiate problem which went from pills to uh, heroin later on. Yeah, so I, I guess it really got bad my freshman year. Uh, it's kind of started with my own medication because I uh, have ADHD. So I was prescribed ADHD medication and so it started about eighth grade. You know, I had always dealt with like depression and anxiety and stuff like that. So um, I also have PTSD and so I didn't want to go to sleep because that meant I was gonna have nightmares. And so I would take my medication at night. It wasn't, it wasn't necessarily, I'm doing this to get high. It was, I just don't wanna have a nightmare. Is there anything, looking back on your entire experience with this, is there anything that you would go back and change specifically? I would never even take the first pill. Mm -hmm. I would tell, like, if I could, be like, no, run the other way. Don't even, don't even look at it. Like, it, this will, this is gonna ruin your life. Like, like it will, it will take everything away from you. <laughs> Guys, I mean, it did for me. You know, it took everything away from me. I was, I didn't have a job. You know, my family was done with me. Didn't have any friends. I mean, I was by myself. You know, so it, it took everything from me. So, what would you say to someone currently? Because there are a lot of people who are teenagers who are 
having an issue with drugs and alcohol, what would you tell them, knowing what you know now? Talk to somebody. It doesn't, it doesn't have to be a parent. It doesn't have to be a teacher. Just, just somebody. It could be, they have, they have hotlines. Call a hotline. You know, like something, they'll give you resources. You know, I mean, if you still think it's fun, it's going to reach a point where it's not fun anymore. You know, and you don't want it to reach the point where it's not fun anymore because that's, that's when it's, it's the hardest to stop because it, yeah, it's, that, that's the point where it's going to be the hardest to stop. There has been a change in homecoming court rehearsal. It has been moved to Friday, October 30th during invest due to weather. So be sure to attend if you are a part of court. Also, the homecoming game has now been moved to Saturday, November 7th at 1 p.m. So be sure to change your plans just a little and still come out to show your Texan pride. One of our very own NHS TV students does more than just drive to and from school. NHS TV reporter Madison Molinar has the story. Allison was just only 12 years old when she first started racing. She mainly got the inspiration to race from family and friends and has always had an interest in racing at a very young age. We went to this one race and there was like this other girl named Cameron McDonald. She was racing like what I race now. And after the race, we went over to like her race car trailer and she let me get into her car. And like, I kind of like fell in love with it, I guess you would say, and like wanted to get one. And I would always like bug be bugging my dad about like getting a car and everything but has also been in a couple of accidents with the worst one being when she was just 14 years old. So I was coming out of turn four, the guy was behind me, hit me good enough to make me spin. And then um, the other, I guess the dude who was like behind him was trying to like go around both of us. And then he hit me in the front. So then that caused me to like flip. And then I started skidding. But even after the accident, Allison still continues to race. It didn't really like change my perspective of racing. There's an interesting story on how Allison decided what her number was going to be. Originally, I wasn't going to be number 11. I was going to be number 36. We didn't have decals made for us. So then um, one of my dad's friends was like, just stick duct tape on and like make number 11. I kind of just stuck with it ever since then. And it just kind of like came part of me. Besides just racing, Allison has a very busy schedule with being in NHS TV and being the varsity basketball manager. This has been Madison Molenauer with NHS TV. Tomorrow is drip day, so show off that award-winning Texan spirit by being too drippy for drugs. I will definitely be swagging it out tomorrow, Robert. Have a great day, Texans. This has been NHS TV Live. <laughs>